So today I'm throwing a couple vessels um, for pit firing. This, is, this might be a series of videos, probably between one and three videos. The thing about pit firing is the vessels need to be pretty thick and pretty large. Large so they don't get lost when you're pit firing them. And um, thick so because they undergo a lot of stress during the pit firing. So I'm going to use this large lump of clay and throw a pretty tall vase. Also, I cut my finger. That's why I have this on my finger, so hopefully I can still throw it. <laughs> Here's my finished pot. It's a cool shape. It's pretty thick, which is pretty good because it's going to be pit fired. It's pretty heavy, but not too heavy. It's okay if I touch it because it's going to be burnished. I don't know if I mentioned, but when you pit fire, um, you burnish um, the things before they go in because you don't glaze them. Okay, so I'm going to throw one more shape. Um, it's just going to be a large base. Okay, here's my rather ugly base that I came up with. Take it off. There it is. Of course it held its shape because it's very thick. So next up, Elsie's going to be throwing a few things to put in the pit firing as well. And I'm going to be burnishing these two. That one's garbage. This one I'm going to burnish right now. So I will update when I'm done. Here's the spoon. This is all I'm going to be doing is rubbing it like that. So it's pretty boring. So now that Britt has thrown a couple bases for pit firing, I'm going to go ahead and do the same. I have a couple of lumps of clay here. Probably about seven and maybe five pounds. So I'm going to get started throwing bases. This first one is going to be kind of a graceful like um, vase with a little bit of a shoulder and then it's going to come up to a little bit of a flared top. My second base. It should hold up well during the pit firing. So there are my two vases. I'll be burnishing them soon, so stay tuned. So here are my two burnished bases. I just finished burnishing them and now they're all nice and smooth and they have kind of a shiny look to them. I'm gonna throw another vase for the pit firing. Are we gonna only have vases in here? What's your last thing? Is it a vase? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna have five vases in the pit firing. I'm going to make another one. It's going to have a smaller base and kind of be rounded. So now I'm going to make another base for pit firing. It's just going to be a nice, graceful shape. Okay. <laughs> Here's my vase. It's pretty dry. I have a spoon here I'm going to burnish it with. It just looks like this. It's pretty boring. Um, here's Elsie's. I'll probably work on burnishing this too. My vase is now burnished. As you can see it's nice and smooth. Well, you might not be able to see, but Elsie's still working on hers. Here's my finished vase. I finished burnishing it and now we're going to let them all dry and bisque fire them. Mm -hmm. 